three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Hello to my fellow subscribers. Hello to the new people to the channel. Everybody who saw the thumbnail stumbled in and you're wondering what is all that about. These are all action figures from Dollar Tree, Greenbrier International. I think these are a Chat My product. They're either pirated from Chat My through Greenbrier or Greenbrier had them make some for them. It just doesn't say Chat My anywhere on here. Anyway, these are those steel action figures that you saw in the previous video called Generic G.I. Joe's. Well, I went back. I bought some more of these guys. Hold on. Camera up. There you go. <laughs> that guy looks like me. Anyway, uh, I might swap the arms out with these arms. Maybe do a custom and then maybe put some facial hair on them. I don't know. Let's open these guys up. Look, no sad onions at all. There's the address right there. Made in Wuhan. <laughs> no, it's not. It is made in China. So, hey, I hope these were made before the outbreak. There's no uh, coronavirus inside here. Oh, well. Let's take a chance. I opened all those. Still alive. So, yeah. All right. Take that apart. Set that over here. Uh, let's take out. Let's open this guy. Same guy. Look. Same dude. Ah, let's see. All right, he's out of the package. Yeah, they're only a dollar. What the hell? Anyway, he's got these radio backpacks, so they're radio men. I have to shave them down because they got these real, real ridiculous long shotguns and they're not even in the closed position they're in the open pump position look see that uh not to scale anyway but the figures are good uh see that let's see let me get closer Let's do a little surgery. Now, these both have, all of them have two screws in the back. So, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Is that an ant? What the hell? Look. See it? Ah, I killed it. Coming into my room somehow. All right. Go to Ant Valhalla. I just committed murder live on YouTube. Okay. Maybe they're attracted to the electronic components. I have no idea. I live way out in the country, so yes, I am surrounded by animals. Ugh. All right. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. All right. The two G.I. Joe type screws are out. G.I. Joe only uses one screw. Well, they used to. And these use two. So, should open up. Just pry it open. But. Oh no, he's in pieces. All right, he's open. He's open. Let's open this guy up. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. He's apart. The arms are apart. Let's swap arms. See what that looks like. Uh, does it even fit in this mold? I don't know. It's a test. <laughs> it doesn't. So, in that case, what we do Put the arms back over here. Put these back over here. We swap heads. This head over here and this head over there. Now, let's see if that fits in here. The head. Yeah, it fits in there. Let's see if this fit. This head fits over here. 
It might not. I don't know. They're different. Now, look. It's a different figure. Look, it don't fit in there. Okay, the experiment's not going to work. Oh, well, we gave it a shot. Yeah. Wow, look at the difference in sizes. Big difference. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, now we know. All right, let's put it back together. All right, this arm goes here. This arm goes here. Leg goes there. Leg goes there. They kind of rub together. Look. See that? Put the head in there. Okay. It's back together. All right. Let's put one screw down here in the waist. And try to get it started a little bit. Don't put any force in there. Just do it gently. I always go counterclockwise for a little bit till it kind of feels like it's centered, and then I go clockwise. And then when you feel resistance, stop. It's like cleaning your ears. All right, he's back together. Good as new. All right, let's put this guy back together. All right. Uh, one arm there. One arm there. Another arm here. Okay. So yeah, different, different. Bigger figure, tougher. I wonder if it would interface with a maybe with one of the core figures. I have no idea. Anyway, he's back together. Let's install one of these screws. And these screws look actually shorter than the other ones. Strange. The counterclockwise is like three or four turns. And then clockwise to to resistance. You don't want to strip the strip the threads in there. Alright, he's back together. Okay, well, that was the plan to uh, <laughs> swap the arms out. But what we'll do, we'll put some facial hair on the dude. Going back over there. We tried it out. It doesn't work. We're nine minutes in. Changing the way they come. Now... Let's see. Look, my trusty Sharpie marker. Ultra fine point. See that? Take my glasses off. I can see. All right, let's do a zoom in. Let me see. Uh, hmm. Very Asian looking. They didn't, uh, well, you can tell, they didn't paint out his hair all the way. So, good time 
it's a good time to fill it in. Let's see if I can. Okay. And that should see within well, the top. Now what kind of facial hair do we want on this guy? Uh about a mustache. See if I can do a mustache. So I'll go straight out like that. Look. See that? Then I'm going to go down. This. And, um, eh, well, right about there. See how that looks? No goatee yet, though. Let's see. Now, to do the soul patch. Let's see. The design. Fill it in a little bit more. Let's see. Now put a little bit under the chin there. There you go. All right. Okay, look, facial hair on the dude. Okay, well, about like that. See that? Looks better, right? Flat tops filled in in the front. It's got the goatee. All right. Let's make one more. Let's just say he's in the, I don't know, French Foreign Legion. How's that? Same thing. The, the, the flat top's not filled in. So let's fill that in. Look.
They just make so many of them, they don't have time. Hmm. Have to do that whole sideburn thing. See? A little bit more over the front there. All right, uh, same procedure. See if I can do the. The mustache. There you go. Looks like the cop from the village, people. <laughs> Remember that guy? <laughs> the one Freddie Mercury copied his look after. Can't think of his name right now. He was pretty famous. Huge handlebar mustache. All right, let's see. Then I am going to get my goatee. See if I can fill in the bottom a little bit more. Give me some more light. All right. Focus. Damn you. Focus. All right. Here we go. Let me see. Let me turn the head that way. Okay, we'll fill that in a little bit more there. I could give him a full beard, but eh, it's okay. Keep it like that. All right, there you go. Facial hair on these dudes. See. There you go. Yeah, they look better with a goatee. My original one's in the chopper. Somewhere in here. Sitting down. Oh, they've been there. Well, anyway. Uh, the backpacks usually don't fit because uh, they need to be trimmed. No, this one did fit. Look. Oh, surprise. Let's try the other one. Well, maybe they're just for certain figures, I guess. I don't know. Strange. Well, those fit. Oh, no. Give him the wrong one. Look. Not the radio. 
radio one. It's the radio pack. That yeah, still fits. Each figure's different then. Yeah. Different body, different arm, different head size. So he's Asian looking, so they get they made him a little bit smaller, I guess. Let's see. This has to dry off a little. It is permanent marker. He does have brown hair on the top, so you know, black and brown makes good. <laughs> All right, 20 minutes in, guys and gals. Hope you liked the video. Uh, these came from the Dollar Tree store. Uh, well, I didn't even show you the... Hold on. Look, we're already 20 minutes in. Look. I went to Goodwill. Found this boat. Look. Okay, out of the way, guys. See this boat? Sentinel-1. Got this outboard motor it is a, it used to be a Toys R Us product I can use this for the Navy SEALs uh, you probably put a guy here driving it or something okay so yeah found that 99 cents I mean threw it away it does have a lot of uh, hard water stains, so I'm thinking some kid played with it in the tub. Oh, and then I found this hovercraft. I don't know if it's oversized or just right, but I think, give me this guy here. Maybe he can drive it. Let me take the backpack off. Oh, yeah, they look perfect fit. Look, even the hands fit on the on the, on the thing. And he's got a... This thing opens up here. Let's see. Let me open it up. Let me put the backpack in there. And close it. Yeah, it's, it's just a toy. Look, it, uh, the hands fit perfectly on there. Uh, this is supposed to just like spin. It's not battery operated. And I think it floats. 99 cents. Okay. But yeah, I saw it and I said, I wonder if they'll fit on there. Look, steel fits perfectly on there. Although I couldn't do a head swap because it would have left one body without a head. Uh, it, I mean, it still would have fit, but I don't want to do that. Everybody's operational. So yeah, look, there's a hovercraft. One person. To put the Navy SEALs in there. I got some Navy SEALs uh, from Chapmai in the white uh, digital camo. Another video for that later. Anyway, yeah, these are from the Goodwill. The this. I don't know who made it, but hey, you get a hovercraft. So yeah, go to Goodwill, go to Dollar Tree, see what you can find. These toys are cheap. They're affordable, and. Uh, that's the end of the video, folks. Hope you liked it. You want to do facial hair on your figures? Just get a ultra fine, yeah, ultra fine point sharpie. Yeah. Just remember, the one looks like a needle. They have a fine point sharpie, but it's not like this. This is the finest one to make. Anyway, see you guys on the next video. Hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and as always, I'm wishing everyone tons of positive love and energy. No matter what part of the world you're in. Wash your hands. Don't touch your eyes. Watch out for the coronavirus. It is spreading. And it's in a lot of countries now. So, yeah. Just, you know, treat it like the flu. Careful of large crowds. And, uh, yeah, just be prepared. I would suggest having a 30-day uh, stock of uh, non-perishable food items on hand. Maybe some extra water and... Some N95 rated uh, dust masks. You can find them in the local hardware store. They use them for like body work, like Bondo for the cars. Same thing. It will help with the virus if it gets out of hand. And one day the local media gets, uh, you know, an alert from the government to tell everybody, hey, there's an outbreak. So, yeah, just be prepared because you never know. It's better to be safe than sorry. So with that said, I hope everyone's okay and... I'll see you in the next video, folks. So I'm signing out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.